one, poses no, sickness, no significant risk of fleeing from the jurisdiction or failing to appear in the court when required. Two, poses no significant threat or danger to any person, to the community or property in the community. Three, poses no significant risk of committing any felony pending trial and poses no, for, poses no significant risk of intimidating witnesses or otherwise obstructing the administration of justice. And I'm required to explain any reasons if I, if I deny bond to assist the appellate court in its review and that the granting or denial of bond will not be set aside unless there's a manifest and flagrant abuse of discretion. That's Jernigan versus the state, 111 Georgia 307, pinpoint 308, very old case um, from 1903. Um, now, in regards to considering bond for Mr. For Mr. Williams, I have considered uh, the first consideration is if free will he appear at trial and to a lesser extent the other factors uh, and based upon the court's consideration of the proffer the two things that the court has significant concerns about are him being a danger to the community in flight and I'll state for the purposes of the record and purposes of my decision that um, I realize that Mr. Williams is presumed innocent. I realize that he has the presumption of innocence stays with him until the state, by sufficient evidence, is able to prove uh, to a jury's satisfaction beyond a reasonable doubt, I should say, um, that uh, he is guilty of the offense or offenses charged. But however, in this particular circumstance, um, there have been significant proffers about, uh, about Mr. Williams as being a danger to the community, in particular, the state's proffer that they have spoken to, taken proffers from other gang members and people uh, who are in this particular indictment and in, and other, and they're not in, in this indictment, that he is the leader of the gang, he is dangerous, and if he crosses them, he'll kill them or their families. And the predicate or the the review of the state, I, I, the concerns that I have are, uh, are the, some of the statements that he's, that he's made about the threats and to others and uh, that have been chronicled in, in particular in some of the um, predicate acts that have been um, stated for the court's uh, consideration. Whether or not those acts, as Mr. Uh, Adams has um, pointed out, because well, you know, they have to be proven at trial, uh, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a discussion for another day. But at this point in time, in the aggregate, those particular discussions, in particular, the proffer from the people that uh, the state has talked to already, the group chat that, um, that from 2015 starting, anybody goes into a courtroom and tells God on his truth, they'll be fucking killed, pardon me for the language. And this threat is still being talked about. So that is of a concern to the court in regards to the danger to um, or threats to persons um, in, the, in the community. So, uh, and, and factors, folks, there's no significant arrest of intimidating witnesses or otherwise obstructing the administration of justice. That is the court's concern. The two major concerns that this court has is um, danger to persons and threats to intimidate other witnesses and obstruct the administration of justice. So um, I have some concerns about the flight that I share with Judge, that Judge Wolf also indicated, but, um, and I'm not gonna hold it against him that he is very successful and has significant means, um, but those two factors in, uh, in particular, um, threats to persons in, in the community or poses significant risk of intimidation of witnesses and otherwise obstructing administration of justice. The court has considered uh, a number of the predicate uh, um, statements and, um, and for those reasons in the aggregate, um, I'm going to deny bond at this time. Um, but 
Mr. Adams, Ms. Hornsby, and Mr. Um, Steele. Certainly, if um, you should file any other additional motions or things that uh, change, I certainly will reconsider the court's position on bond. It is not lost on me that I have not given your client a bond, but um, you know, that is my decision based upon what I have heard. Uh, and I certainly appreciate your advocacy for, on behalf of your client, and all of the lawyers thus far who have advocated very well for their clients in, in this particular position. And uh, I will do my level best to make sure that this case gets tried as expeditiously as possible. And if I can get it on the calendar before, uh, before the 9th of uh, January, I will endeavor to do so. So anything else at this point in time? One thing, Judge. Yes. I'm sorry, I know the court file uh, sent an email to, I think, the public defender's office concerning getting 